Hey, welcome back to another video on today's Blocks Roots video. As y'all seen by the title, I'm gonna teach you guys how to rank up faster in this game and how you can hit max level in under a week. Hey, make sure you guys watch this full video if you guys need help ranking up fast. With these same strategies, I ranked up to max level in under a week and I almost maxed out every single item in the game, every single fighting style, every single fruit, and every single sword is basically maxed out for me in this game. And since this is a rank up faster video, I'm going to be giving away five permanent Huda fruits to people that need to rank up faster if this video hits 5,000 likes in the first day. Make sure you guys have a like, comment, and subscribe right now. You can't win if you're not subscribed. Y'all subscribe right now. And let's get right into the tips and tricks of how to rank up faster, guys. Also, to give you guys a heads up, for some of these tricks, you might need Robux. But if you don't have Robux, it is okay because I have a lot of different tricks that need zero Robux. Hey, guys, well, this could get us into our, one of our first tips and tricks, guys. If you guys want a way to make free Robux, hey, you can hop in, please donate. Just ask people or you guys can use bing all right if you guys don't know bing basically gives you microsoft rewards right here every single time you search something up you get more points so as y'all can see i searched up roblox and got like five points and as y'all can see you only need fifteen thousand points to get a free robux card it'll literally give you a hundred robux for free guys and um as y'all can see like when i searched up something it gave me five points so if you do 300 google searches you should be able to get 100 robux guys that's a free way for you all to get some robux so that y'all can buy some game passes and some free stuff on here guys hey no one's ever told you all that trick hey so like the video right now because that's one of the best tricks ever bro that's a free robux hack but anyways once you get your free robux from the website basically spend it on double xp double xp is going to make you level up two times faster y'all so if you could save up to get like a 24 hour one and hey, that'll literally be perfect yo i'm not gonna lie but anyways let's get into some more tips and tricks guys all right boys as y'all can see we're on the first c first things first that everybody needs right now go ahead and walk to this dude ask him on for a 20 dollar robux card and then buy this fruit right here you don't need no other fruit in the game to level up y'all this fruit is the only fruit you need if anyone says go get light fruit bruh don't listen to them bruh if you if you're gonna spend money on this game buy the huda fruit don't buy any other fruit permanently bro this fruit is so good i probably got most of my levels with this fruit guys this is the only fruit that you need in the game the reason why it's so good is because you can hit so many enemies like look how all right i'm hitting all these enemies like so far away so fast away so fast away like what, what does that even mean dude you can clear out entire areas like this so easily and do mad damage and another reason why it's so good is you're leveling up your swords and you're leveling up your melee and you're leveling up your hockey all at the same time guys so the hooter fruit is definitely the best fruit to level up with so if you have robux buy that fruit if you don't got robux you better trade people and you can trade people until you can get the hooter fruit guys if you're subscribed i'll give away i'll give away five permanent hooter fruits in today's video another reason why this fruit is so good all right as y'all can see he's doing like seven damage right now okay i should try it on stronger enemies but as y'all can see he was doing like seven damage if i have huda fruit i take way less damage he's doing 2.9 damage now guys as y'all can see bro i know this kid is not trying to fight me bro i'll literally slice you up bro he's literally dead yeah so the huda fruit increases your damage and you take less damage overall so it's going to help you level up a lot faster just because you won't be dying every two seconds because your fruit sucks bro i know that this kid is like trying to fight me desperately i said why do you want to fight he said sup it's no way bro yo what, what she bro watch him you gotta ask for something bro i come to the first c for like because i'm blocked because i'm black wait what the who is this kid bro i said do you know me why why is this dude saying i'm just trolling this dude's different bro hey the people in the first year are a little different y'all when you get high enough level you need to come to this dude at the snow island home i'm gonna show you guys what this island looks like snow island Island. there's an invisible cave right here come to this dude right here he's the ability teacher you need to come to him you need to learn how to sky jump you need to learn how to get enhancement and you need to learn how to flash step all right this is flash stepping right here unless you teleport from like a short distance this is your hockey there's enemies that you literally won't be able to fight unless you buy hockey so this dude like you can't beat the game unless you get hockey from this dude so go get hockey from him it should cost like 100k um that's not a lot in this game not gonna lie and then the sky jumping is just like being able to jump like super high like this guys you guys need to get observation hockey so that you you're able to dodge people and you ultimately die less guys the less y'all die in this game the faster you're gonna rank up like don't even worry like dying dying doesn't do anything to you in this game like it's really not that bad so you should not worry about dying that much look at this little noob bro what she got she got an ice sword in the the saw blade oh oh, oh. 
Yo, I, I didn't mean to hit her, bro. No. Oh, my God. All right, so if you guys want to get observation hockey, you guys need to come all the way to Sky Island. Pretty sure you got to be higher level, Um, maybe like 500, level 500, maybe. And you need to start a quest from Usopp. Usopp is basically the guy in this pyramid right here, guys. Good luck with getting observation hockey. Um, Definitely look up a video on how to do it. But let's get into some more tips on how to rank up faster, guys. Okay, I almost forgot to tell y'all. There's this one strategy where you could, you could farm a boss unlimited times, guys. All right, so say, say my... Say my objective is to kill Bobby right there. And Bobby gives me like 500 XP a kill. All right, what I can do is you could talk to this guy, get the quest, Bobby quest. Boom, boom, how? All right, then you go walk up to Bobby, you kill him. Get all that little juicy scrumptious XP right there. And then you click on this button at the top that says servers. Wait, hey, you just got to find a server that's like not full. All right, and you just click join. And then boom, when I join, there's a high chance that he'll still be right there. And this is a way that you don't got to respawn bosses, guys. All right, see, look. All right, so you can easily like respawn bosses. If you want to waste 50 Robux every single time to respawn a boss, this is the freest way and easiest way, guys. All right, so like, like just like that, I spent 50 Robux to respawn them. I just showed you guys a way to do it for free. You can just server hop your bosses and kill them just like that, guys. Also, I'm gonna tell you guys all the game passes and stuff that you guys need if you're if you're into buying game passes and stuff. The only game pass you'll need is two time mastery. Literally, the only one you need is two time mastery. You do not need dark blade. You do not need fruit notifier. You don't need double money, fast boats. You don't need none of this stuff, guys. You only need two times mastery and get your hey, get yourself some double XP, man. Get yourself some double XP and then get the Huda fruit, guys. The Huda fruit is the most important thing in. The the game when you're trying to level up fast also make sure you guys search up some codes some black fruits block shoes codes and put them in right here because the codes can give you double xp for free guys i'm gonna show you guys three other different fruits that you guys need that are a lot cheaper guys all right so let's go ahead and all right you guys can use ice fruit these are fruits that people would just give to you for free if you ask nicely guys like people would just give ice fruit away free people really don't care about ice fruit and it's a really good fruit for grinding and leveling up fast guys as y'all can see, it freezes your enemies. If anyone tries to fight you in the game, like any players, you could defend yourself with the ice fruit. Then we got a light fruit right here. Light fruit is pretty good. Pretty top tier fruit. People will give away light fruit for free. I'm not gonna lie, guys. These are some fruits. I would not spend your I would not spend your Robux on it to get it permanently. But if you guys got any friends that are higher level, just ask them for like one of these fruits and they would like it's a high chance that they'll give it to you guys. And even this fruit right here, guys. Smoke fruit. Smoke fruit is usually like a terrible fruit, but there's a glitch that you guys could do that'll make it to where you literally cannot die to any enemy, guys. Alright, so none of these enemies can hit you out of it. But basically, you gotta have observation hockey. Observation hockey isn't mandatory, but it helps the glitch a lot. Lot, guys and you just need to get the flying ability at level 10 you can literally fly and do infinite damage guys this isn't the best way to level up it's a way to get infinite damage and it's, it's honestly not that slow i'm not gonna lie guys but literally you just fly around and like fly at the enemies just like this and they literally cannot do no damage to you guys but this is if you need these are fruits that you guys should get if you're if you're not able to get the huda fruit guys all right y'all when you guys get level 50 inside the game you could come to this guy right here you can give him money he'll trade you for fruit guys so um yeah this is a high make sure you guys store your fruits once you get them and if you save up a lot of fruits you'll be able to trade to get an even better fruit guys so guys if you guys are new to the game i would not worry too much about changing your race but if you do change your race always get mink race because you can run a lot faster than any other race guys i'm literally like teleporting bro like i'm literally like i'm literally like sonic the hedgehog y'all like you can literally run so fast in this game and y'all when y'all get to the second c this area right here is gonna be your best friend guys as y'all can see it's easy all the enemies are so close together it's so easy to kill all the enemies because they're like right next to each other y'all all right y'all if you guys want to rank up faster and get a bunch of double xp tokens on the screen right now is a bunch of double xp tokens and game codes that actually work in the game guys so go ahead and pause it pause the video screenshot it do what you got to do but here are a bunch of codes for stat refunds double xp um free in-game money everything you guys can ask for and you just enter the codes in right here guys all right guys and if you guys didn't know once you get to the second seat you're able to awaken your fruits guys you got to talk to this guy right here and you can do different types of raids to awaken your fruit i do not recommend using this to level up because this is like the slowest way to level up in the game guys all right boys and now i'm gonna show you guys the secret strategy i'm gonna show you guys the secret strategy strategy that me and my friends use we use this strategy to get like over 700 levels a day guys first things first if you're by yourself you're, you're gonna need a huda fruit or you're gonna need a lot of friends to help you do it 
um a lot of people like doing this raid so it's not gonna be hard to find a lot of people but basically you guys want to follow where i'm going right now all right so we're gonna go ahead and head all the way to the lava land and like i said like this this glitch right here is not really a glitch but it's like a method it's like an easy way to pay to win even though like you don't you don't need robux but it's an easy way to pay to win because you kind of do need robux at the same time everyone could do this guys but basically you go all the way over here so like i said before um those raids over there every time you do a raid and complete it you'll get a thousand shards guys all right guys and once once you get to the lava land you come in this hole right here all right hey yo that sounds so weird all right anyways you gotta talk to this dude right here in the white tuxedo all right here to make a bargain all right and he's gonna ask he's gonna ask for a thousand shards for a microchip all right so you get you go ahead and get the microchip this microchip right here if you're low level it will literally get you like if you're around level 700 this could get you like 10 and 20 levels every time you do it guys i'm not gonna lie you guys will need a team because this dude like low key might one shot you if you're too low all right so basically you come over here wait did you even all right basically you go on top of this mountain right here guys this mountain right here with the gear over it above the lava and then there's a secret hole right here guys all right so you go in the secret hole and you come in the cave and then boom you stand right here with the microchip and then you click this green button and boom you're in a raid you're fighting the trap trap your trap the gear law it's a law raid basically guys but basically if you're low level you're gonna be you're gonna be getting three levels every time you do this all right so basically this is why i said you need a lot of teammates because this dude is actually kind of hard to kill if you're by yourself guys as y'all can see i'm kind of struggling myself and i'm max level guys but another way you guys can farm this easily if all your friends if you have a bunch of friends with you guys say you have four friends and you guys can do the normal raids and farm shards so then every time you guys finish a raid you guys will get four thousand shards each that means you guys can do four different law raids guys all right guys as y'all can see we finished the raid all right we got like 39 billion xp 39 million i didn't even get to count it bro you get crazy amounts of xp from the law raid guys all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again so you come in here all right you enter the code red blue green blue all right and this secret door should open right here and then you guys need to do normal raids so you guys can get shards and then go to that lava area and do the law raid guys i'm telling y'all right now that's the fastest way that can literally get you like 100 100 levels an hour guys like no cap another another method that'll help a lot of you guys a lot faster if you guys have premium if you guys have like roblox premium inside this game you guys level up 10 times faster guys so say it would take you say it'll take you 100 days to get max level normally if you're leveling up 10 times faster that means it'll take 10 less days to get max level basically hey 10 days is a lot of time saved i'm not gonna lie guys what the heck bro what am i witnessing right now i'm like why is there two leopards trading bro they look weird bro as y'all can see we're in the third sea right now all right if you're in the third sea you want to go to haunted castle all right it's this little haunted castle thing over here guys um you guys are gonna need this thing it's an item in the game called bones you're gonna need bones you're gonna need a lot of them too i'm not gonna lie guys and basically you get bones by killing enemies on this island and if you guys get enough bones if you need you need 50 bones basically if you get 50 bones you can talk to this dude right here and you'll get, you can trade your bones for double xp tokens money and a lot of other things guys but it's pretty easy that's like another way to get a bunch of free double xp i'm telling y'all double xp is very important in this game think about it if it takes 100 days to get max level if you had double xp the whole time no it would only took 50 days and i didn't think i had to say it like i thought i thought everyone would knew this but since this is the ultimate tutorial i should i probably should tell you guys this but anyways you guys should need to grab a quest grab a quest do not just fight enemies by themselves always grab the quest bro if you don't have the quest you're missing out on like all right so like he gave me like 10k xp but if i finish the quest i get 78 million xp guys always grab the quest never forget the quest guys even if you're killing bosses guys always kill bosses with the quest all right since this is the ultimate level up guide i thought it would be helpful if i told you guys the best way to get mastery on all your weapons guys basically if you guys come over here to the cake islands as y'all can see we're in the cake islands the boss that spawns right here her name is the cake queen it's like basically big mom from one piece she's basically like the equivalent of the law raid like she can give you like if you're if your item is level one if you kill her one time your your item will be level 150 by the time you're done with her bro like i'm not even capping y'all y'all probably think i'm joking she can literally she literally gives you like 150 levels on your first kill probably like 10 or 20 levels every single time you kill her guys so if you guys want fast mastery hey go in that tower over there go kill her hey and good luck because that, that's a hard boss to kill so bring your friends with you and yo when i was a noob nobody told me this everyone was telling me to use life fruit bro they were telling me to use like all these different fruits so life fruit was like the first fruit that i ever unlocked because everyone said it was the best fruit to level up with bro they lied bro i'm trying to tell y'all right now i hope i hope y'all listen i hope you guys believe me but this is the only fruit that you need the human hue 
food and fruit. Only fruit that you need, bro. Every other fruit is trash compared to this fruit. I'm like, I'm not even joking. I wish I was. Obviously, I'm talking about only leveling up. Like, the other fruits are good, but not for, like, leveling up. Like, this fruit right here will help you solo the whole game. It's that important that I said it two times in the video, y'all. So, like, hey, that means I'm not joking, bro. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the guide on how to level up fast in Blocks Fruits. Hey, I showed you guys everything that I wish I knew as a low level. It took me, like, one or two weeks to get max level. And I didn't even know any of these tips. So, with all these tips, I could have leveled up in, like, three days, bro. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And remember, if you made it this far in the video, comment banana in the comment section. I'm going to give away permanent who the fruits of five people that five people that comment banana if this video hits 5,000 likes in the first day so make sure y'all subscribe too